Hello and welcome to MATLAB programming for numerical computations. We are in module 7. In this module, we are covering ordinary differential equations, initial value problems. In lecture 7.1, we introduce ourselves to ODE initial value problems and we use uh, Euler's explicit and Euler's implicit methods. We said in the previous lecture, at the end of the previous lecture, is that in the rest of this module, we are going to cover explicit methods of the type known as Runge Kutta family of methods. In order to introduce ourselves to RK methods, we will consider the second order Runge Kutta methods. Before going to the second order Runge Kutta methods, I will give you a general idea of what Runge Kutta method looks like. Euler's explicit method we had yi plus 1 equal to yi plus h multiplied by f of ti, comma yi. Okay, which we have written as fi. This is how we use the Euler's explicit method. We had also said in the previous lecture is that for getting higher accuracy, we can replace our fi uh, by some other way of calculating the slope si. And we can use that slope in uh, the overall uh, approximation, use yi plus 1 equal to yi plus h of si. Now, in nth order Runge Kutta method, gives the slope as a weighted sum of n different functions. Okay. Now, in this case, the n functions are going to be k1, k2, up to kn. k1 is going to be nothing but f of ti, comma yi. k2 will depend on ti, yi and k1. k3 will depend on ti, yi, k1 and k2 and so on. kn will depend on ti, yi, k1, k2 and so on up to kn minus 1. Once we obtain k1 to kn, we calculate the weighted sum w1, k1 plus w2, k2 and so on up to wn, kn, substitute this over here and we will get the next, uh, next time solution using the Runge Kutta method. Okay? So that is how the Runge Kutta method works. Uh, Runge Kutta method is a generic method for any nth uh, uh, any number n, most popular are fourth order Runge Kutta methods. Runge Kutta methods, the theory and discussions behind it was covered in module 7 part 2 of computational techniques course, the link for which is given over here. Okay, now let's consider a couple of second order Runge Kutta methods. Okay, okay. In Yoon's method, yi plus 1 is yi plus h by 2 multiplied by k1 plus k2, which basically means our w1 and w2 are both 0 0.5. Okay? Uh, k1 is nothing but f computed at ti comma yi and k2 is f at ti plus h and yi plus h multiplied by k1. Okay? So that is the formula for Yoon's method. It is a second order Runge Kutta method because we have w1 k1 plus w2 k2 only. Okay, that's why it's the second order Runge Kutta method. Okay, what we can do now is we'll go to MATLAB. We will start with the example that we took in the previous lecture and we will modify it to solve that using RK2 method. Okay, this was Euler's explicit method. Let's save that as RK2 U. Solve ODE IVP using Yule's method. Okay. This initial part remains the same. Let's take T end as 5 and H as 0.1. Initialize the solution in exactly the same way as before, solving using Yoon's method. Okay, so the first step in Yoon's method is going to be computation of K K1, which is f of ti comma yi. Okay, so our K1 equal to f of ti comma yi so minus 2 multiplied by ti multiplied by yi that happens to be the same as fi that we had over here that's actually fine 
okay t new let's call this particular guy as t new so t new is t i plus h equal to t i plus h y new is uh, y i plus h multiplied by k1 y i plus h multiplied by k1 okay and next thing we want to do is calculate our k2 so k2 is function of calculated at t nu comma y nu sorry k2 is minus 2 multiplied by t nu multiplied by y nu and let's see y i plus 1 is y i plus h by 2 multiplied by k1 plus k2 so y i plus h by 2 multiplied by k1 plus k2 okay and that's our y i plus 1 everything else remains the same we don't need to change anything so majorly the change that happened was only in this part when we changed from Euler's explicit method to Yun's method. Let's save this and hopefully when we run it we will not see any more errors. We have run and now we have the solution using the Yun's method. Uh, if you recall from lecture 7.1 the error the maximum error was 0 0.033. Let's find out what the error is in using Yun's method. Max ERR is 0 0.002. Instead of 0 0.03, that is 3 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 2, the error using Yun's method is 2 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3. So Yun's method, the RK2 method, is more accurate than the uh, Euler's method. Okay. So let's go on to Yun's method and we'll recap what we did. So we started with the Euler's method code and we modified the Euler's method code as follows. First we did within the uh, uh, for loop we calculated k1 which is function of ti comma yi. k2 we calculated in two steps. First we calculated t nu which is ti plus h. Then we calculated y nu which is yi plus h k1. Then we calculated minus 2 multiplied by t nu multiplied by y nu that was the function that we were interested in. In midpoint method w1 is taken as 0 and w2 is taken as 1. With this, this is the overall equation. k1 as before is f computed at ti comma yi. k2 as before is f computed at sorry k2 is different over here I'm sorry. k2 is f computed at ti plus h by 2 comma y i plus h k1 by 2. Okay, we calculate this substitute in k2 and we use the midpoint method. Let's go again to MATLAB and solve this using midpoint method. This time I'm going to solve it from scratch. Edit uh, r k2 midpoint. solve let's copy the preamble part and the initialization part those we know are going to remain the same and we'll check it anyway t0 is 0 y0 is 1 tn is 5 h is 0 0.1 and n is tn minus t0 the whole thing divided by h we have initialized our t vector, we have initialized our y vector and with y1 equal to the initial condition. Okay. Solve using rk2 midpoint method for i equal to 1 to n. Okay. So first step is to calculate k1. k1 is f of ti comma yi. So k1 equal to minus 2 multiplied by t multiplied by y multiplied by ti multiplied by yi. Okay. K2 is going to be minus 2 multiplied by t nu multiplied by y nu. Okay. What is t nu? 
our T nu is Ti plus H by 2. T nu equal to Ti plus H by 2. Y nu is Yi plus, sorry, I, Y nu is Yi plus H k1 by 2. Y i plus h multiplied by k1 divided by 2 and k2 is minus 2 t nu multiplied by y nu and y i plus 1 is y i plus h multiplied by slope and slope that s s slope is nothing but k2 in this particular case so h multiplied by k2 end and then plotting plot t comma y uh, y dot character and e r r equal to a b s of y minus y minus y 2 okay because we are using abs function it doesn't matter if it is y minus y true or y true minus y both mean the same thing okay so we have this and let's save and let's run it we hope that this runs without any error okay looks like there might be an error okay y new is undefined on, on line 20 so let's go on okay y nu yes the reason why i'm getting this error is i have defined this as small y capital n a w uh, matlab is case sensitive so this has to be small y capital n a w so let's save this okay again uh, to emphasize uh, we need to be in order to debug a code we need to be able to understand what errors matlab is throwing MATLAB has thrown the error undefined function or variable y new on line number 20. That means MATLAB doesn't understand or did not understand what the variable y capital Y capital N E W stood for. And the reason why we got that error was because there was a typo. We changed y new from capital Y capital N E W to small y capital N E W to match y new that we had over here. Okay, so let's clear all. And let's run IK2 midpoint. Okay, now this time it runs without any error. Okay, let's now calculate the absolute error value of absolute error max ERR. Okay, and this is also 10 to the power minus 3. So the order of accuracy of RK2 midpoint method is sim similar to the order of accuracy of RK2 Hune's method. Both these methods are more accurate than the Euler's method. Let's reduce the edge by one order of magnitude and see what we get. Let's say if edge was changed to 0 0.01 and run and max error. Okay, the error has dropped from 10 to the power minus 3 to 10 to the power minus 5. So the error has dropped by two orders of magnitude. Let's change this to 0 0.001 and let's run it. Max error has fallen by further two orders of magnitude. So from this, one of the things that might be clear to you guys is that the order of accuracy for from global truncation error viewpoint for Euler's uh, method was h to the power 1 whereas for rk method is h to the power 2. We will consider the error formulation for rk methods in a more formal way in a subsequent lecture. This brings us to the end of this lecture. In this lecture what we have covered is introduced ourselves to Runge Kutta family of methods and solved the uh, ODE initial value problem in single variable using two different RK2 methods, RK2 Yoon's method and RK2 midpoint method. There, there were two aims in, uh, you know, for us to do that. One was to demonstrate that the RK2 method is more accurate compared to the Euler's method 
and the second thing was to demonstrate that Range Kutta is not a single method but it refers to a family of methods. For any particular order there are various different types of methods that are available as well as there are different orders of accuracy. With this I come to the end of lecture 7.2 and I will see you in the next lecture. Thank you.